just uh, minutes ago, we arrived in Rankin Inlet just in time because we came and saw the, the fog rolling in off the bay. And uh, within minutes, by the time we got our bags in to Nanook Lodge, uh, <laughs> it's completely engulfed in fog. And now we're going to be here for the next few days, see what we can of Rankin Inlet in the fog. Nice view. Well, Paige has once again led me to a gorgeous place here behind Rankin Inlet. It's just an incredible landscape that's very different than what you have accessible right around town. And some beautiful views looking right out to Hudson Bay. It's a great disability. Sneak a trip out here. Time to go warm up the hands again. <laughs> We're heading out onto Hudson Bay. <laughs> First time ever getting out on the water up here like this. He's firing them up. Going over to see, if we can, up North Pole River, a historic place, uh, John Ray's old stone house from his early Arctic explorations. Very exciting. Nice day to be on the water. Beautiful day. And somewhere over that hill, that's supposed to be uh, John Ray's old old house, right? Old house. So if, we're, if we're lucky, we'll find it. We should find it. <laughs> Which way did you want to go? Over or around? You just want to walk shortcut. Oh. Yeah. Harder walking with the shortcut? Mm -hmm. We're up to it though, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Theron picked up this mushroom off the ground. What's really cool is David just put it on a cut that he had. The stuff inside, a rotting mushroom, I guess is good to put on wounds. But no eat? Uh, you want to eat, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the place, David. John Ray's old stone house. David was just telling me back there that he used it probably for the first winter, but then after that, because it got so cold and got frostbitten and so on, that he then adopted the ways of the Inuit and uh, started to sleep in an igloo in the subsequent winters that he stayed over in this area. So every house needs a window. Nice. Yeah. Really interesting construction. You can see why it lasted uh, over 150 years. It's got the, not only the stone, the drywall construction, but it's all the moss that's been used in between, filling in the gaps. What do you think? Oh. Did he have food in this, maybe? Yes. Put this. Make a fire. Okay, so you fill that with seal oil yeah, yeah. and then you put the moss along the edge so it acts like a wick and that way you get a nice flame and heat coming up. Mm. Well, I'll put this back where I found it. It's down there. Wow, great history. Now it's time to see if I can bring a little bit of this history home with me. 